This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. So if you combine wood leather, travel, writing, art, that's when you'll get these boxes. That's what I'm thinking. I want these boxes to feel like they are out of time. Whether they would be from the past, the present, or the future, they're timeless. So they fit anywhere. Nice. Perfect. I like that tightness. I love when yeah. things are organized perfectly, you know, when each little pencil, each pen, each book has its own space. So these boxes were constructed with white oak. And box joints for strength and also because I really like the look of them. The other thing I love about that is how you can achieve rounded corners with box joints. It works really well to sand them. Whereas if you had done miter joints, for example, you wouldn't have been able to do that. So box joints work really well for rounded, kind of smooth corners. I'm going for a bag slash box roundish organic design here. I think it's important to have your own things, and we decided to make two boxes each. Yeah, not, not really into sharing so much, no. So each one will look a little different and they'll have different organizers and inserts.
everything moves rather slowly, I think, when you do leather work. Um, it's kind of finicky, everything takes a long time. Um, now I'm gonna go outside and do some gluing of the leather uh, to the wood in terms of the straps. So I'm gonna let that dry until we get the tacky. Normally I really like to use a water-based contact cement because it doesn't smell as bad. Uh, but I do think that the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the nasty stuff, the, the stuff that smells really bad, it's, it's a little bit stronger. Uh, so I'm using it outdoors here instead. Um, so. Recording? Yeah. Looking good there. Yeah, so I got this here. Like that. And I was gonna mm -hmm. uh, touch, yes. touch that one and then sew on this uh, nice. handle thing. You went through the first one already. Yeah. Darwin. Okay, so before getting back to working on these boxes, I want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. And their support makes it possible for me to create these projects and videos and share them with you guys, so that's really cool. Like many of you know, I've been using their system for a long time now, and if you've been thinking about starting a website to showcase what you do, perhaps you run a business where you make things and that you're selling, or you just want to share your interests with the world, then they're a really great platform to consider. I use them for my shop where I sell my wax polishes and just to update things in general. They have awesome templates to make your website beautiful and it's really easy to manage. So if you're thinking of making a new site, then head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash darbenorver to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, now let's get back to the project. Securing leather to wood like this by first gluing and then drilling and sewing through with some heavy duty thread is really one of my favorite techniques because it produces such a strong result that also looks quite nice. So I love that for the application of like a handle where you really want it to be very strong. So we bought this art box years ago in Paris and it's funny, I used to think this was such a beautiful little box and after I started woodworking I realized, you know, it's not, it's not as nice as I once thought. Um, but I thought it would be uh, kind of cool to create a wooden insert for the pens, um, so a nicer version of this plastic. It'll give us an idea. Oh, perfect. Okay, good. 
Okay, that'll leave a thin little perfect, bit there. Perfect, perfect. So cool. I also think it's kind of cool to add rings like this on the sides because then you can hook on a shoulder strap onto it and carry it like a bag or you could unhook it if you wanted to and store the box on a shelf or something. Scissors are in high demand. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I still have to put my glass behind it. It's so awesome that it is possible to make something like this that is custom to exactly how you want your things displayed and kept. And I guess, I mean, the whole idea here is that you take a box out and you go in the woods or the coffee shop or wherever and do things like writing or painting or just keep stuff in it. I don't know. It's like the idea of cool boxes and bags to have things in. Now working with leather is really, it's really fun and relaxing. However, it's also time consuming, I think, um, because I don't know, it, it's a lot of finicky work, things take a long time, but it's really fun. And the concept of combining the wood and the leather like this, I think works really well. And it's possible to combine the, the qualities of both materials and create something very unique. Still, it's still a bit tight here. Jesus Christ. Can you see how yours is? Oh God, yeah. <laughs> it's the same situation. We later realized that if you want a really useful outside pocket, it's a good idea to actually make like, like a little leather bag with sides that you attach. And we ended up doing that on one of these boxes later. Like a couple proportional than mine. I know you like yours better. You think it's very cool. bird sound.
I was debating different ways to keep things in place when you move the box around. Uh, perhaps you use it as a bag and then the contents would go everywhere if you kind of have it around your shoulder. So in general I ended up using velcro quite a bit, um, both on a leather piece for the bottom to kind of keep the, the contents at the bottom inside and then also I used velcro to secure things on the top. And uh, what's really the point of having a gorgeous art box if not to make a tiny palette <laughs> to go with it? At Rosewood, that is. Darwin. Alright, so yeah, I think they are ready for the woods or the park or the coffee shop or just sitting organized on a shelf, I don't know. Um, this was a really enjoyable project to work on, really fun getting into the leather work and, and really fun to kind of go all in and make a bunch of these boxes. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this process. Of course, if you missed the previous video, that's where um, I went over the woodwork in more detail. And this was more about the finishing work. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you soon. Bye.